everybody i hope you're all doing well welcome back to another barn vlog today i actually have a dressage lesson slash flat work lesson with joey today so i've just got the boy's head collar and i'm just gonna go down and catch him from the field now here we have the boy oh have you got the flies on you oh I'll get some fly spray on you jojo hello oh you're a you're a little dirty you're a little dirty aren't you should we get you cleaned up? Oh, we'll get some fly spray on you as well. Hey boy. Alrighty, I now have a Joey with me and because it's such a sunny day, I might actually tack him up outside, especially as he is pretty dusty. I don't really want to inhale all of that dust. Oh, come on, mate. <laughs> He's like, girl, you're vlogging. You need to pay attention to me. I, I mean, I am leading a horse one-handed, so we'll see how it goes. I'll see you up at the yard. Joey Higgs, look at all that mud. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Uh, my lesson is starting soon. I do not have time for all this mud. Hey, I mean, he's happy he's got his haylage. Good man. Let's get you groomed. tacked up it was then time for my lesson with my instructor D now at the beginning of our sessions Joey can be a little bit stiff it takes him a little while to warm up and actually produce some really nice work so here at the beginning D films a little bit of us to kind of show the before and after and then once we're a little bit more warmed up she adds on the bands which basically kind of hold me together and put me in the correct position and really make me use my core and the correct muscles that I need to use I feel it in my bum cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> right. And yes, I do feel it in my bum cheeks. After this, Dee decided to do something with me that we have never done before, and that is take my mouth and put a heart monitor on me. Now, please, please do not try this at home, and if you do, contact a doctor and have a professional with you. The tape on my mouth is there to make me think a little bit more about my breathing and to breathe through my nose, especially as I'm known for holding my breath, and I do that a lot over fences. So anyway, then it was time to tape up my mouth. It did feel a little bit weird to start with, but by thinking about my breathing actually helped me lower my heart rate and improve my riding. When Dee first told me about this I thought it was going to send me into a panic feeling like I couldn't breathe or maybe that I felt a bit claustrophobic when actually I felt so calm. I think it's because my breathing was very regular. I was taking lots of deep breaths and also we could tell from the heart monitor that my heart rate did actually drop by having the tape on me so there we go. We of course didn't do this for too long because it is my first time riding with tape on my mouth. We also took all the bands off and then it was time to test me can I do everything exactly the same with my riding but without all the gear and it's safe to say that Joey was looking so much better at the end of the session compared to the beginning he had loosened up a lot more he also started to feel a bit more connected and started to really use his hind end obviously we are nowhere near perfect and still have a long way to go but it's really nice to see how much we can improve over one session one of the things that I'm currently working on in my riding is my right shoulder and my right hand often when you see me ride you'll probably be able to see my right shoulder is a little bit lower or dips and my right hand can often be a little bit stiff because of that this is mainly due to my bad back which is one of the reasons why it's so good for me to see Dee because she is also a physio and treats me and helps me with all of my problems something else that I need to work on is to stop swinging my lower leg back as much this is something that I used to do on purpose when Joey was a younger horse because he was a little bit more unbalanced sometimes around corners he'd swing his hindquarters out and would be a little bit wonky so I put my leg back to correct that and it's sort of a habit that's just kind of stuck. Overall Joey was such a good boy in our session and produced some really nice work at the end once he'd loosened up. After that it was then time for me to look through some of the footage on Dee's iPad while Joey was having his massage and yes my horses all get treated too. For me it's so important to have my horses backs regularly checked especially if you ride them because they do so so much for us and we want to make sure they're nice and comfy. Joey also loves having the laser on his back too. Oh, the plane's so loud. Oh, goodness grief. I'm trying to film a YouTube video out here. Planes flying over. 
All right, everybody, I am now here with Joey, who was such a good boy in our session with Dee, and he's also just had his treatment, so he's had a bit of a massage, he's had the laser on him, and now he is enjoying some very deserved treats. Oh my gosh, this boy's getting excited. Anyway, I'm gonna go and pop him out in the field, and then I think Dee and I are gonna do a bit of a workout session, and I'm gonna get treated as well. Good boy! Where are you? You're all the way up there into giraffe mode good fella after that it was then time for Dee to put me through my paces off the horse and when i tell you the day after this my abs hurt so much from doing these exercises sometimes us equestrians can forget that we are athletes and that it's important to try and stay in shape especially for our horse's welfare the stronger and fitter we are the more balanced we could be in the saddle and therefore be more comfortable on our horse's backs these exercises have also helped me so much with my back pain especially as before i wasn't using my core properly i was using muscles incorrectly and that was causing me to have a little pain in my back however there are still some exercises that i'm yet to master that I need a little bit of help with however this one that Dee made me do oh my goodness look at that smashed it both legs if you'd like a bit more of a step-by-step -step rider's guide to some exercises that you can do I'll leave a little eye card to a video that I did with Dee a few weeks back also can I just add she made me do this exercise with a weight and I can't lie I did fail a few times but I did do it in the end and I was so proud Alrighty, I have just finished doing my exercises with no, Dee I here. Put my glasses on. Put your glasses off then if you don't want to be. Huh? Put your glasses off. Let me see what then. I look like the difference. Is that alright? What do you reckon? That one or that one? Mate, you look better than me. I'm all sweaty. No. <laughs> I'm literally looking at it. Alrighty, everybody, I've just finished doing my exercises with Dee and now you're going to treat me. Oh my gosh, I am aching a little bit after today, so you've worked me hard. Worked you very hard. Yeah. Banded sprints. Yes. What else did you have? L lot of lunges. A lot, lot of leg work. Of, yeah. A lot of leg work today and um, a lot of abs, really. Yes. I'll be feeling it tomorrow, that's for sure. All right. Treatment time. Treatment time. Nice. My favourite part. <laughs> I am now back home at the cottage. Um, I had a really good session with Dee and I'm so proud of Joey. He was such a good boy, worked so hard and produced some really nice work at the end. Anyway, I've had like my workout session, I've had my massage or my treatment and I'm now just about to have a lovely nice hot bath because I thought that's the best way to end the day after that, just to kind of relax my muscles, soothe them, that kind of thing. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you can, it would be amazing if you could like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps me make more content on the channel. But anyway, um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!